All right, we finally made it to the ship. Liberty of the seas. You excited, Cassie? Show me the pizza. <laughs> the pizza? Yeah. I thought you wanted seafood. Well, I mean, but it's all you can eat, pizza. Okay. And, and ice cream? Yep. Now this is a different different um, cruise company, so. I might not be happy then. What if there's no ice cream? Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Cassie, Gary here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking in with us. Where are we at, Cass? In the middle of the ocean. In the very middle of the ocean. So we'll bring you up on the deck in a little bit and show you. Maybe not the very middle. Someone's well, gonna say we're not in the very middle. Well, <laughs> define the middle because it's everywhere. The yeah. ocean the ocean is so big. But we are on our cruise. We actually made it. Uh, if you guys have been following along, you know that we had some major storm damage back at the house, but we worked really hard for about 24 hours to get it all cleaned up and fences mended to make it here. And that is our cruise ship, Liberty of the Seas. Yes, Royal, Royal Caribbean. We are headed to Nova Scotia. Yes. so. We are on a day two of the ship, which means we are at our day at sea. So we are not stopping anywhere today. Tomorrow we'll be in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So we thought we would bring you along because a lot of you have messaged Cassie and said what? I've never been on a cruise and I am excited to see, make sure you guys make a video. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, so we thought we'd take advantage of our little bit of free time we have today on our day at sea and um, video. Uh, all the things that happen on a cruise, some things you know about, some things you might not. You think they'll let us go behind the scenes? No. No, they're not gonna let us. <laughs> so, we're gonna go up to the top though, or to the deck, and uh, show you guys the ocean. We'll start off with that, and just show you some of our favorite things to do on the cruise. Nothing but ocean. So it is incredibly windy and chilly today. It's pretty foggy, so you can't really see a ton, but we're gonna take you around and show you as much as we can. Also, if you see people running like there's an emergency, they're having a scavenger hunt and they're taking it very serious. So a lot of people are worried about what they're gonna do on a boat for four days or seven days, but they tried to get everything taken care of that you might um, need while you're here. One of those is a spa, right, Kat? Spa and a fitness center, yes. So acupuncture, massages, beauty treatments, all the stuff? Sure. How much of that are you doing, Cassie? Zero. Zero. All right, so let's show you some fun stuff though. What do you do for fun? Got it. All right, Cassie, I want to get you on this before we leave. The people want to see it, okay? You. So for the fun stuff, they have this thing called the Flow Rider, which we'll show you. It is just a, is it like you're surfing? Surfing, boogie boarding. Waterboard, yeah. or not water, not waterboarding, not torture. <laughs> uh, what's that behind the boat that they do at home? Ski? Knee boarding? Uh, wake, wake boarding. Oh, yeah. Wake boarding. No water boarding on this cruise, I promise. totally you except you'll be standing up right uh, about 20 years ago so yesterday there was a lady standing up and she was doing awesome yeah. she was not she was making it look easy yeah she wasn't that young either she was just like really really good at it so I would say she's been uh, doing stuff like this her whole life yeah so you can also see I'll show you in a second um, they also have huge water slides that you can go up go down 
Cassie says she's going to do that later and we'll go to the video for you. She's not paying attention. You know, this is where Ranger would be the whole time. Yes. Trying to have a pickup game with the older kids. Because that is his I, favorite thing. I believe they also have a pickleball. Pickleball? Pickleball. Yeah. Pickleball tournament, a dodgeball tournament, all sorts of stuff up here. Free throw contest. Probably. So there's no shortage of food. Cassie can attest to that, right? Yeah. We'll show you the buffet later that's free for everybody. But they also have places like Johnny Rockets and Starbucks and Baskin Robbins. Yeah, that you have to pay for. That you can pay for. But we usually go for mostly the free stuff or included in the price. I wouldn't say it's free. Nothing's free in life. No. But, um, but you lots, already paid for it. Yeah, but lots of options if you like Johnny Rockets. So if you do bring your kids along, well, there is tons of stuff for them to do. Yes, there's this arcade. There's also like... Um, child care where they can come in and do things supervised for so long while you go do other stuff um, so they've pretty much got it all figured out You just drop your kids off and leave them, right? I think that's how this works. Well, if you go through that program, yes. Yeah. So there's also mini golf that Cassie and I like to play, but uh, we haven't got up here yet, but we will a little bit later. So there's no shortage of fun things to do on a cruise because they know that you're gonna be on here for several days. So they plan a lot of events and activities just to keep you busy. Uh-oh, we're coming to Cassie's favorite spot. Ice cream. Any, her rule is anytime we walk past this, what do we got to do? Get one. <laughs> so they have strawberry and chocolate and vanilla flavors. What are you getting today? Strawberry only. No twist. Strawberry. Cassie, is this your favorite part? Of course. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's always uh, something different. So that's the thing we like is a lot of variety. I like to try something weird or interesting every time I eat. Gotta have dessert. So this is the what, promenade. It's like shopping. Uh, Ice cream. Cupcakes. Coffee. Yeah. 
If people don't want to be around people, Cassie, is the cruise a thing to go on? No. No. You have to be at least comfortable with crowds and being around people a little bit. But there is places that you can spread out, like on the top deck. Uh, obviously, you can go back to your room anytime you want. So, just part of it. If the lines are too long at the buffet, where do you go? You can get pizza here. I try to get a slice every time I walk by, but I'm extremely stuffed right now, so I can't. Free pizza till 3 a.m. Yep. Okay. Oh, Looks like he's in our room right now. Uh oh. Caught somebody in our room? Bom bom bom. It's not supposed to happen. Actually, it is supposed to happen if you want clean towels. Yep, caught somebody in our room. I'm gonna give them a little bit. Come back, like two minutes. So we made it back to the room, and this is it. This is it. <laughs> so we chose a interior room because anytime we want to go out on the deck and see where we're at, we will. Yeah, and we've had one with the balcony before didn't make a big difference to us so we're happy with this and it's cheaper yes so this is probably like 300 dollars cheaper now if we were going on like an alaskan cruise or somewhere where there's glaciers and right now it's so foggy you can't see anything so yeah tons of wildlife it might be worth it but uh the thing we like about this room is there's no sunlight coming in yeah. so if you want to really we could sleep all day if we wanted to yeah if you want to sleep in you can and there's no worries so just basic uh bed TV, dresser, bathroom, closet. Actually pretty good size to fit all our stuff. We've had a mini fridge the entire time. Oh, and a mini fridge. I didn't know that. Cassie's just now discovering new stuff. Huh. There I mean, you go. I don't have anything to put in it, but. <laughs> so, so some people wonder why a cruise, but I like it because you can do as much as you want there's activities to do all the time. Bingo, uh, trivia, scavenger hunts. Hunt. We're about to go to a show. Um, there'll be com comedians tonight. There's just all sorts of stuff to do. Uh, like um, trivia, like uh, guess that, music, things like that. There's just always something. Yeah, there's always something to do. And you only unpack one time. So you get to rest and relax. I feel like a cruise is more for relaxing. You don't have to think about your food. You don't have to think about your entertainment. You don't have to think about nothing. Yeah. So when we road trip with the kids and go to different states, we're all the time driving. <laughs> I'm behind the wheel. We're figuring out where we're going to eat. We're figuring out where we're staying. We're just doing a lot. But when we're on a cruise, you don't do any of that. You just relax. Yeah. I think everybody should at least go on a cruise once. And I wouldn't go like every year personally, like... We've done a cruise about every five years. We went on our anniversary. We, we went, went on our honeymoon. I mean, our honeymoon uh, at seven years, we went on a cruise. Yeah, with a bunch of friends. And now 15 years wedding anniversary. Yeah. So that's what we think. Now they will get you on a cruise. There's one thing they will do. You know how they, how they get their extra money, Cassie? By me watching all those people drink pop and Starbucks and, oh. Internet. <laughs> $20 per device per day. Yeah. They'll get you on the internet because you don't have any other option. And the excursions are expensive. If you want to spend the money, we're going to do a top 10 uh, sites in Halifax. But we're only going to be in Halifax one time probably. So yep. we're going to take it all. And then when we get back, we're going to do a four-hour Manhattan, New York City tour. And so they will get you on the excursions. But other than that, I feel like it's a good... Good price yeah. too. What I was saying about the drinks and stuff, you have to pay extra for those. Water, tea, juice, uh, just regular coffee, the buffets, all that stuff is included in your ticket price. And then there's stuff 
you can add on and that stuff can add up quick quick i did get a coke yesterday and it was four dollars and 13 cents well and a lot of people drink alcohol we do not drink alcohol but that's also where they get people is i'm sure that's pricey by the drinks so we're gonna um bring you along for a little bit of the entertainment this evening just kind of show you that and then uh we'll end the video tonight so hope you're enjoying the day at sea So we just left Saturday Night Fever, but there's no recording in the middle of a show. So, sorry, wanted to show you a little bit. They said no. Anytime you want it. And hot coffee. Well, pizza anytime you want it till 3 a.m. Till 3 a.m. After that, you have to order room service. This is barbecue chicken. I had to try it because I haven't yet. So Cassie is taking a nap and I'm gonna let her nap for a little bit, but I found my favorite place after my walk. That's the back of the ship because there's no wind back here. There's a lot of wind on that walking track, but you got a lot of options here. You can exercise if you want. They've got a running track um, or you can just sit around or take a nap, whatever you want to do. So we are headed down to our formal dinner. You ready for this? Oh yeah. This is where you get the good food, the really good food. Wanna photobomb those people? That's your ride. Yeah. You know what the kids would want? Those stuffies. Those stuffies. They want a surprise, but they're not getting one of those. So we couldn't talk Cassie into going on the waves the wave rider whatever it was called cassie what about ice skating easy karaoke no come on all right so this is the ice skating arena and uh there's a show here uh in a day or two we'll be coming to but it's good in here it's pretty big surprised how big it is down here 
It's crazy to think about all this stuff's on a cruise ship, isn't it, Cass? Yeah. That's what people don't, some people don't realize is they think, oh, you're just on a boat. You're stuck on a boat. Well, you are, but there's a lot of stuff to do. The kids would like this. Oh, well, they're not here. <laughs> Always thinking of the kids. Wake up. So we are going to end the day looking at the sunset, Cassie. Yes, we are. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but I'm enjoying it. Having fun on the cruise, Cassie? Having a lot of fun. How Taking many, a lot of naps. How many naps have you taken? <laughs> two or three. Okay, well that's, what day you, two. <laughs> that's what you get to do whenever you're on a cruise without kids, you take a nap. Yeah. So as far as prayer requests on catching up with the walkers, if you guys have been watching the news, then you know that there's a submarine that went for the Titanic um, shipwreck and wanted to view it and is now underwater. They're running out of oxygen. We've been hearing updates about it. We're in that part of the area a couple hundred miles away. So we'll be, we'll be praying for them. If you'll join us in praying, we would appreciate it. Yes. What's next, Cassie? Uh, tomorrow we have an excursion. So we're excited about that. Halifax, uh, Nova Scotia. So we're looking forward to meeting a subscriber there and getting to try some local fresh seafood. So you guys follow along. We'll probably have another video somewhere for that. But thank you so much for um, checking out the cruise with us. Hopefully, if you're considering it, now you know more info. If you've never been on a cruise, now you know what it's like. Everyone should go on at least one. So we hope you guys have a great day. And God bless. Love you guys.